Assalamu alaikum and welcome back to Technology Explorer. My name is Usman and uh, it's the part number 7. In the previous 6 videos we have made all these parts and uh, today in this video I am going to make uh, these parts. So um, first of all we have this brass bush for guide band shaft. Here in it there is a, a threaded shape group to pass the uh, lubricant. So if you can see here, the, this is the brass bolt. It will be placed here with the help of a uh, hydraulic press machine. So uh, the material of this bolt is brass because uh, uh, the shaft of guide band is uh, the stainless steel and uh, due to uh, different materials there will be less friction. Another reason is that uh, as you know there will be the flow of water from the turbine. So um, we have used the brass bush and stainless steel shaft to get rid of strain. Go to solid wax and start from new part. Start from new part and then draw a sketch on front plane. First of all draw a center line on origin like this and then draw a rectangle like this. Now define this um, diameter. It is 85 millimeter. Total width is 60 millimeters and the bore diameter is 55.2 millimeters. Select this corner and the origin, make them vertical. So our sketch is now fully defined. Go to features tab and from there use reward both base command then press OK button. OK, next step is that we have to add the threaded groove here. Uh, first of all, we have to make another plane um, somewhere here. So for that, click on features tab and uh, from here reference in geometry select plane. Select this face and uh, type the distance which is 10 millimeters then press OK button. Then click on this plane and then sketch on it. Select this circle and then click this button convert entities. Now press this button to save and exit from sketch mode. Uh, select this circle then go to features tab and from there click on curves button here and from here select helix and spiral. First of all we have to reverse the direction so for that check this option reverse direction and then type here uh, the pitch which is 26.5 and uh, uh, revolutions are 3. So it should be um, some portion of the thread should be uh, outside of this part from both sides if you can see here. So um, press this button to save uh, or continue. Okay uh, click on this plane and then hide it. We have to create another plane. So click on geometry then uh, reference geometry then select plane. Select this helix and the edge of this helix. Then press OK button. Now select this, this plane and uh, then sketch on it. Press Ctrl plus 8 key for normal to be orientation. Change the shade from here. So um, you can see here the origin. Now uh, draw a line like this. Now select the helix and the midpoint of this line and make uh, the pierce relation between them. Then draw a three point arc like this. Now select the center point of the arc and the line and make them coincident. Then define the total width as mentioned in the drawing uh, which is two millimeters. And uh, so our sketch is now fully defined. Now go to features tab and uh, from there you have to use, use swept cut command. So uh, is, uh, right now this swept cut command is turned off uh, so click this button to save and exit from sketch mode now swept cut command is turned on click on it first of all it will ask you to select the profile so this is our profile and then this the, this is the path box so select this path and then press this button to continue so here it will ask you to select uh, which bodies to keep you have to select the selected bodies from here and then only check the body 1 and then press OK button. Now um, you can change the shade and then 
hide the helix hide also this plane so uh, our this part is now ready and uh, save it our next part is the bottom nozzle uh, let me show you where this bottom nozzle is used here if you can see this is the guide van and from here this is the top nozzle area and from this side the bottom nozzle area this is the bottom nozzle area let me show you uh, one more drawing so here is the another drawing for clear view uh, this is the bottom nozzle if you can see here so uh, as you can see two uh, nozzles of same dimensions are used but with different lengths only here is the bottom nozzle A and here is the bottom nozzle B. So uh, we have to make this one and then we will uh, copy paste the same nozzle and then we will change, rename that uh, nozzle to B and then we will add it the extrusion length um, to change, um, change it. Once again uh, start from new part then sketch on right plane and then draw uh, sketch by using line command and uh, you should draw the line like this ok now um, type here the width which is 15 millimeters and this width is also 15 millimeters angle between both these lines is 110 degree and uh, height is total height is 170 millimeters uh, this width is approximately 44 millimeters so uh, whatever answer um, you, you will have to leave it as it is so um, next thing is that we have to type here total uh, total length and it is 156.3 millimeters our sketch is now fully defined go to features tab and from there use extruded both base command drop down this or uh, this uh, option menu and from there select mid plane and uh, type here total extrusion length and uh, it is 746 millimeters so um, this bottom bottom nozzle is also ready to save next uh, next part is also bottom bottom nozzle b and i'm not going to make it in front of you to uh, save the time so uh, we have only to change the total length uh, from 746 millimeter to uh, 347 uh, 374 millimeters so you can copy paste the, this this one and then you can um, <coughs> add the total length or extrusion length and uh, next thing is uh, the guide, guide van whole assembly parts so um, first of all we have uh, these dimensions uh, these rough dimensions of the guide van and uh, uh, then we have these parts so i think uh, this is enough for today's video inshallah in the next video we will start making the guide van so keep watching this video series till and i and, and i hope you uh, have learned um, lots of things from this video series so thanks for watching and sparing time and don't forget to subscribe this youtube channel for more videos like this and if you want to download this pdf then you can um, email me uh, the screenshot of this video then i will send you this the pdf uh, in the reply